My inspiration for the book is kind of twofold, actually, because there's the inspiration for the content of the book and the story, but there's also the inspiration as to why I even decided to write a book. I probably have been moving toward being a novelist my whole life without quite realizing it. And uh, several years ago, I um, walked into a bookstore in Los Angeles and I started picking up books. And I don't even know that I was looking for anything in particular, but I started picking them up and opening them and, and reading like the first page. And after a while, I said, I think I can do this. I think I can do this. And um, I think what part of what I was drawn to about writing a book, which is very different than some other things that I do creatively as a screenwriter in Hollywood, is that I, as I was kind of growing up and coming into my 30s as a woman, needed to kind of flex a new muscle. And I needed to start something and not know what was going to happen and be OK with that. The story itself is, is a, began with something that's been kind of family lore for a very long time. Um, about a boat ride, a boat ride, a late night boat ride that my family took when I was like 10 or 11 years old. And it was in Houston, Texas. And I guess we're talking like the mid 80s. And my dad uh, threw a birthday party for his wife, my stepmother. It was on a bayou that ran through the city. And when we got through a particularly dark, uh, not great part of town, we heard a woman screaming for help. And there was a lot of commotion and confusion on the boat about what to do. And I remember very clearly my father's fear of stopping the boat. And my father got into an argument with one of his oldest friends, uh, who's a minister, who felt we had this moral obligation to stop the boat. And my father, as a criminal defense attorney, only saw, had a very cynical approach. And his thinking was, we don't know these people's problems. If we stop this boat, whoever's following that woman can get on the boat with us. Uh, you know, we have, my wife is here, my child. And we never stopped the boat. And we, we called the police when we docked. And it haunted my dad for a long time. And I have, for a long time, thought about that woman. And that story of, well, what would happen if we had, what would have happened if we had stopped the boat? And that was kind of the, the start of a story. And from there, Blackwater Rising began.